good morning you guys and welcome back to another daily vlog so it is monday february the 20th it is president's day so um jaylen is out of school my son is off work on mondays so i took off so that we could spend some time together they want to go out to eat today and possibly a movie or something else so i have been up as you can tell i'm already kind of almost put together i've got my makeup on i have my hair done or my wig put back on and i kind of brushed it out and that's what it is and so i have on this dress that i told you guys about in the last uh, weekend blog that this company sent me this dress um to promote on my instagram and so i'm up this morning getting ready to promote it so i want to come in a little closer i'm not getting i just get the dress so it's just an exchange but the dress is this dress it's like got a little ruching here to help with like the tummy area and it's very much just a fit and flare black dress that you can wear you know to a funeral to a wedding um anywhere it's very much to work uh, out to a dinner date a girls night whatever you prefer and so i'm going to be styling it today for work i think a date night and i think they wanted me to do vacation i just don't know how i'm gonna do the vacation yet but i have the other two pretty much figured out so we're gonna get them done first so this is how the dress fits hope you guys can see so it's a little bit <laughs> it's, it touches like i'm trying not to move so you can see i mean it's like right at my knees i would like it to be a little shorter maybe somewhere like here you know fit a little bit up you know i'm not the i don't like the shortest skirts but i also don't like the, the longest skirts so it but it's still a very nice dress so the style of the dress is called hold on um i think it's on here nope it's not on here so the name of the company is adrian papel is this is the name of the company that sent it to me the retail value of this dress is 199 dollars not $100, $119, sorry. I'm just used to say that. It's very stretchy material. It is lined, which is great because it's jersey material, so it is very see-through, so they definitely needed to line it. Um, but I think it's just a very nice and simple dress. Kind of pricey at $119 for a jersey dress, but it fits like a glove. I did get my normal size, which is a size 12. I probably could have went down to a 10. I mean, because of the material and how stretchy it is, I could have went down, but it's very hard to know what size you wear for a company that you have never um, got anything from before. But I still think it's a beautiful dress. So today we're going to style it up for work first. So I'm going to wear my loafers from um, Belk. So we're going to put on our croc loafers. Oh, I love these so much. They're so cute. I need to wear them more so I can break them in. That's why I don't wear them as much because they're so tight. But I need to break them in. And the only way to break them in is if you wear them. So I'm going to have to start wearing them. Especially when summer hits. It'll be, it'll be uh, warm enough. Anyway, so these are my uh, croc style with the buckle. And then I am going to put on... my oldie but goodie blazer brown blazer from the thrift store i've had this for years and get this done they said they wanted it on the 17th when i went back and read the email but i didn't get the dress until friday the 17th and i wasn't gonna record nothing on the same day so yeah 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 they finna get it <laughs> today i think i'm gonna post it tomorrow so i'm gonna get it done today get everything edited send it to them in the email they didn't say they needed approval so I'm just gonna send it in the email. They want you to send it in the email and um, tell them what day they're gonna you're gonna post it. I think I'm gonna post it tomorrow. I'm trying to see what I posted recently because I think today I have to post like a day in the life. Oh no, I need to do an outfit picture, outfit post today. So I might post this today. You might you might see it later on today. Um, oh, you guys won't see it, but you've been seeing it by the time this vlog comes out. Um, yeah, so I definitely need to post an outfit video today so this might be the outfit video might get his own record it up today edit it up shoot it on out okay so that's what we're doing right this now. morning has not gone the way <laughs> i was hoping it would go 
So I'm not going to get everything done that I need to get done today until a little later. My son hit a deer last night. So it has completely trashed the passenger side light. And you guys know we have been looking to get him a car. And this is the worst time to try to find a car, of course, when you actually need one. Because we put shit off. But I think we found him a car and we're about to go to the dealership. And my friend is going to go with me. She's always good at finding good cars and good prices and stuff like that. So we're going to go to the dealership and um, pick up. Hopefully, he'll leave with this car. It's a Nissan Kicks. I was looking at a Honda, but I also like Nissan. And I think this has good mileage. And it will probably still have a warranty on it because it has such low miles. And it's not been five years. So that'll be great for him. So I'm about to get dressed and we're going to go to the dealership um, as soon as he gets back from the post office. And then that's what we're going to do. So let us let us pray that he gets a car today and <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Guys, I was able to finish the last look before we leave to go try to find my son a car. Um... Like I said, he did hit a deer, unfortunately. He needed a new car anyway, and like I said, we've just been putting it off, so who knows. Um, still might get his car fixed, just depending on how much it costs or whatever, or my car now. I don't know how we're going to do this. He's going to have another car, and then we'll have that car, but I still want to be able to drive it like a little, you know, like a poop poop car. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, we'll just check on it and see, you know, what the big deal is. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and get ready so we can get out of here and then I will check in with you guys. Hey guys. Here with Mari. Y'all don't see him too much on the channel. He's still alive. <laughs> well, anyway, I told you guys he hit a deer, which we've all hit deer, but unfortunately his car is smaller and the impact was worse. Because I actually hit a deer in that car before in the same light. It hit that same side. But the mine, same side. Yeah, the same side. But I didn't hit mine that hard. So yours was just came flying out. Um, but his tail light, his front headlight is like all the way in the car. I'll get like video later. And so he needs a new car anyway. We've been putting it off. He's been had the money. We just both just been doing doing whatever. And we probably should have been went. But sometimes it's not meant for you to go then. And maybe, you know, you weren't gonna find what you're looking for. And even though we was looking for a specific car for him. A Honda CRV. I actually found a Nissan Kicks that I have never heard of the car before. But Nissans are good cars. I mean, it's all black. I mean, it has gray black interior. It's smaller than mine. And I think it would fit him very, very well. It has a very low miles on it. And I believe it's a very good price. So I'm taking my little guru car friend with me, Ophelia. Ophelia, you guys, if you ever need a car, she the one who's going to negotiate down and make sure they don't overcharge you. Don't charge you for stuff they ain't supposed to be charged for you for. She's going to make sure the interest rate be right. Like, so I need to take her so we can get all our stuff together. And um, hopefully today, he'll drive off the lot with a new to him car. You excited? We'll see. <laughs> he said, we'll see. He'll be excited when he in it driving off. Now, I'm hoping this kind of car, he can't lock no keys in the car. And I won't be getting up in the middle of the night. Okay? Well, we'll need to see, too, because some cars only have, um, come with one key when it's used. So, you might have to pay for you another key, bro. Because if you get locked out, like, you're going to have to go roll side assistance. You won't be able to yeah, call me. Yeah, backup key wouldn't be nice. Huh? Yeah, but not all used cars come with a backup key, because this one didn't, so. Yeah, so we're going to hop in here. With Miss Sophia, yeah, and ride with her. So let's go. It's happy Tuesday, so it's Tuesday, February the twenty first. This is a continuation of the daily vlog from yesterday as you guys saw I completely stopped at his last test drive because everything went not downhill for that from there but it was very frustrating I forgot how it is going to a dealership and getting a freaking car okay I completely forgot about he has to test drive he has to figure out does he like it I don't have to drive it you have to drive it conversations like that 
and he's pretty cool and um so we sat there and we sat there for hours and um at the end of the day all the banks were closed of course so they couldn't give me my rates and all that kind of stuff and they could have but Mari we discovered doesn't have any credit um I thought he would have a credit score from paying his student loans but they said they've changed stuff that student loans doesn't count as you having a credit score and then he paid that off like one or two years ago maybe a year or two ago and so they say you know if he has nothing else and then my dumb ass forgot to add him as an authorized user on my credit card so now he got a fucking credit score so that part <laughs> um but he's just gonna be the co-signer i'm gonna go ahead and just put the card in my name let him be the co-signer and all of that and just be done with it i didn't want to do it but it is what it is when he gets his credit established and things go right he can refinance in his name or we can go ahead and pay it off, whatever he prefers. Um, because like I said, he has the money. I'm just trying to build his credit up. So um, he's only, uh, I think he has like $16,000. I think he's going to be like four or 5000 shy of like paying for it cash. It's no biggie. He can make that up. And then, um, of course, we have to factor in insurance. But first, we got to get a damn car. And um, so hopefully the car, we looked at like three or four cars. So we settled on one last night. Um, and we're just waiting to hear from the bank and for the dealership to call us back, which I need to charge my phone because it's dead. Hopefully they didn't call me yet. Um, and then, oh, <laughs> I heard something. And then we'll just see from there. Um, hopefully later on today we'll go and be... I'll drop him off, we'll finish the paperwork, and he can just drive a damn car home, and I'll get him added to my insurance and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll discuss, you know, how much he needs to put in my bank account every month to, to cover his new bills, <laughs> that part. And what else? Um, Y'all, so I jacked up my light bill. So, you know, if you watch my Savvy Saturdays, I said that I um needed uh $210, like my light bill had went down. Y'all, why my light bill didn't go down? It went to 210 but I still had to pay 105 for this loan I got. Y'all remember when my AC unit and my heating unit went out, I just went through Alabama Power to get like a brand new system and I had to pay $105 on it. So it's 210 plus 105 So it's going up to 315 It was 294 now it's going up to 315 So it actually went up. It didn't go down. And now I'm $105.97 short in my budget for that. And I had to fix that this morning. So um, when I get this other income at the end of the month, I'll use that. And then I'll probably like reset most of my cash envelopes, take the cash out of there that I didn't spend, deposit that and redistribute that around as well. Um, Cause I'm not gonna be carrying anything over. I'm not gonna do it. We don't have $200. Whatever I did spend in, in gas, it's not gonna be carried over. Whatever I didn't spend in any of the categories besides date night and Jalen, it's just gonna be um, carried over or um, added to and then lessened out of my budget for next month. What else we got going on? I think that's it this morning. I checked my emails when I got up just to see what was going on. I have a couple of things I need to respond to, a couple of things I need to do, um, some meetings I need to uh, go to. Thank God I only had one meeting today. Tuesday's on my light days, and I'll be thanking Jesus because, you know, it's rough after a Monday. Um, so I just need to write a to-do list of what everything that I need to try to get done today, research today, get an answer to, respond to, all that shit. And I gotta edit the video for tomorrow for the daily vlog. So, yeah, I got a full fucking plate because I was out all day yesterday. Yesterday I planned on doing so much and then the deer took over our lives. <laughs> it's all the deer's fault. Yeah, we, that's what we gonna go with. But I'm just rambling right now because I'm tired. I'm gonna go find me something to eat and then make me a latte and then we're gonna get to work. So I'll check it out.
sometimes when I don't have enough time to like wash the dishes or anything before work, I'll just pile everything up and kind of put everything away I need to put away. And then when I get through washing the dishes, I'll put all the rest of the stuff away, wash the counter and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I just did. And now we're just gonna get our tea going for the chai latte and then we have our bagels going. So yeah, that's one thing halfway checked off. <laughs> My to do list for today, girl, because it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. I am stressed the fuck out about this car situation. So I just called his dad and we kind of talked about it. And then I was talking to my friend, and it's just not feasible for him to be able to pay a car note and pay insurance because he just work at Domino's. Um, and I freaking did. I was in the middle of the conversation with his dad and my phone died because I didn't even realize I hadn't charged it. Or I did charge it, but shit, I've been on it all day. Oh, well, not all day, but it's been on all day and I've been working, not paying attention to whatever he's doing. So he just needs to pay cash for a car. It kind of goes back to what I say about, you know, cars and building credit and things like that. Like, yeah, he's 24, but he's an immature 24. Like... He don't know nothing about life, y'all. And, you know, I apply for a loan, but I probably won't get it because it's just, I'm just, y'all, I'm on the verge of tears. Like, I just don't like <laughs> to fail. I feel like I failed. Um, I mean, I just feel like I failed, like, what he needs to do in life and where he's supposed to be and i know it's a different time and i had to you know fight for everything that i had and you know had to learn the hard way but i was still able to do it and i feel like because of, of the way they grew up maybe i babied or called them is why they're not ready to do what they need to do and it's a hard thing to know as a parent and i'm probably just being too hard on myself but i just feel like you know I know either way, whatever I, whatever we decide for him or help him to decide, he's not going to care. He's not going to care if it's not a brand new car. He's not, well, not going to care if it's not a newer car or anything like that. But I guess I care. And I feel like at this stage in his life, he should be able to get what he wants to get. Um, And him not having credit is crazy that I didn't even realize. But it's a good thing, at least ain't nobody, uh, what you call it, took his credit over. I forgot the identity theft. But I don't know. I just feel some type of way as a mom and a parent, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. My phone's coming back on. <laughs> I was about to call his dad back because it hung up on him. I know. He probably know it died because he probably tried to call me back and saw it with the voicemail. So let me just call him back and say sorry. And shit. That's how I'm feeling um, at this moment. I'm just, you know. I mean, that's a parent thing. I know I probably should feel that way and I know da 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 and this, that, and the other, but <laughs> you know, that's how it be sometimes. Just how it be. And maybe I'm just stressed out all together and just need a good ass cry anyway. You know, and then one thing will trigger it all to come out. So I'll talk to y'all later. All right, you guys, sorry I didn't come back earlier. Um, but work is done. It's like almost six o'clock. I'm about to go meet my friend Erica. I told her I need a drink. So <laughs> thank goodness she's available to drink with me. Um, or hang out with me rather so basically I calmed down because <laughs> y'all know I got worked up and got overwhelmed and as a parent like I said you're always trying to just got this hat on because my, my hair is a hot mess um you're always trying to fix and prepare your kids for stuff and sometimes it can be overwhelming just trying to do it yourself and I'm definitely one of those people who will ask for help in certain instances but then sometimes I feel like I need to handle it myself and this was one of the times where I was getting to the point where I couldn't handle it myself or I was trying to figure everything out instead of asking for help 
so you guys know I don't think I told you but my friend Ophelia was very much very gracious yesterday and spent literally the whole day with us looking for him a car and everything just wouldn't work out nothing would work out nothing went the way we wanted it to we started about 11 and we didn't get home to about I want to say 8 8 or 9 maybe even after I have to check what time I texted her and told her I was home and I should have just seen it as a sign as God saying this is not the way you need to go with this and I just kind of kept trying to push something that wouldn't happen because as a parent you want your child to have a reliable car you don't want them to be broken down on the side of the road but that doesn't always necessarily mean that they need a car note or they need a car with 30,000 miles on it. I mean you can get a good reliable car you know with a couple thousand hundred thousand miles on it or a couple of hundred thousand I don't know because I mean I gave him my Honda my Honda had a hundred and fifty sixty thousand miles on it when I gave it to him and it has not broken down on him but twice and that was like in high school but since then it has not and so you know you just try to get them stuff that they may not be ready for but you're ready you're stable you're able but you forget that they're young you know like I say he's 24 but he's pretty much in the mindset of a teenager so he's not ready and I was trying to make him be ready for something he wasn't ready to do and it really just hit me hard today that he was not ready for and I kept felt kind of guilty I mean I'm, it's my job to get him ready but then I had to you know I talked to my ex about it you know he knows our we know our children and he knows what I you know how I am as a parent as a person and all that kind of stuff and he had to step me back and say hey you have done everything you needed to do for this boy he has you have gone above and beyond as his parent and you should not feel any type of way because he's not ready it's not because you didn't try to prepare him or make him be prepared he chose not to be prepared he chose to ignore your advice and you know do the things that you told him he needed to do in order to get where he needed to go and so he's gonna have to take the consequences of that he's gonna have to get a car that's paid for that may not be as mechanically sound as the car he has now and he does what he has savings for and he's just gonna have to get the car fees and that's just it and so I just put it in his dad's hand like okay I can't do it anymore I'm stressed my job is stressing me out this is stressing me out and I'm just I'm about to reach my limit and so he's like well don't worry about it no more he's like I'm gonna go searching for a car you know I'll just see you what I find you say hey yeah that sounds good and I'll take him we'll test drive it and then boop 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 and I'll take him to get his insurance and whatever he's like just don't even worry about it anymore and um so like I said he good for some stuff look <laughs> we fight but he good for some stuff because he would be the only person in my opinion who I can talk to in that deep of level about our children because he is their father and he does understand you know and lived in, I mean, lived in the house with us as they were kids, as they were growing up to a certain point. But he still knows his children regardless. So it felt really good. It made me feel a lot more calmer, <laughs> a lot more, you know, not stressed, not emotional, you know, bring back down my rationale. But I still need a fucking drink. So that's what I'm going to go get. So I'm headed to meet Erica at our favorite little Mexican place. Um over at Trustville and we just gonna get some drinks and hang out because child child the last day and a half has whooped my ass and I actually need to call this man back at the place and tell him you know that I'm not gonna get the car I probably need to email the loan lady and tell her I'm not gonna get the loan but I'm just gonna leave it open for now I don't know anything to change he decide getting the job I doubt it but you know I'm just gonna leave it for now if I never sign the paper to do anything I won't the loan I will never have to play the loan because I've never borrowed the money I just got a ding on my credit report for them looking and seeing how good my credit is and that type of thing so yeah um, but yeah so that's what happened today so let's go get us a drink and send all the words today and we'll worry about tomorrow tomorrow because today is the day so yeah <laughs> I just made it home from <laughs> hanging out with my friend Erica and um, yeah I love when we get together me and her we like 
So, you know, you have different friends for different types of conversation, different types of, you know, things. And me and Erica, like, we dive deep when we discuss stuff, like, deep down, hardcore deep. And so, tonight, you know, talking to her and get it venting about all the things that happened yesterday and today, like, it's... It, talking to her always brings stuff into perspective. It kind of like makes you think, okay, I'm thinking yesterday was a tragedy. Things are going so wrong and blah, 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 blah. But talking to her and, you know, hearing about what's going on in her life or other people's lives or just just talking in general. Because when I say we talk about everything from the color of the sky to the <laughs> something, I'm just making this up like to the nuclear physicists. Like we, that's how we can go from light to heavy to laughing to cry to stuff. And I really, really love having conversations with her. The conversations with her are always such eye opening and such humbling conversation because baby, what I went through yesterday today ain't shit compared to the conversation we had tonight. And not to say she does that to like say, oh, my life is terrible. And it's not even about her. It's just, you know, just certain topics that we talk about. It's just like, Kiosha, was your life really terrible yesterday? Or were you just have an inconvenience day? It was just a bad day. It just stuff didn't go your way. And it was just overwhelming. But in the grand scheme of things, you good, girl. You real good. You doing better than than uh, most. Okay? So, you need to calm it down and be humble a little bit longer. A little bit more. Um... So, yeah, but we always have a good time. We always have a good laugh. We Oh, if one thing we is, is silly. Okay, I love hanging out with somebody who's silly and can laugh. I can't hang out with somebody who's too serious because I'm just goofy as fuck and that's just not going to work out for my life. But that's what we both needed, which is funny because I call her needing her and she needed me too. So we really needed each other tonight and God just made a way for us to be knowing, hey, y'all need to hang out tonight. Y'all need to talk about some stuff. Y'all need to get some stuff off y'all chest. Y'all need to woosa, um, comfort each other. And Erica is somebody I do not hang out with all the time. Like we don't talk every day. We don't talk every week. We don't talk every month. Like I have not talked to Erica in like a month or two. And I called her tonight because I was like, hey, girl, I don't know if you're busy or whatever, but I really just need to get out the house. I need a drink. Can you meet me? She's like, yeah, girl, what time you want to meet? So, you know, I love friends like that because you don't have to talk all the time. You don't have to conversate. You don't have to text every day. But, you know, if you need somebody, that they will be there. And I feel like true, real friends don't always have to be front and center. They just have to be there when you need them. And that's just my philosophy. So, you know, if I don't talk to somebody, they don't call me. They don't text me for a couple of years, months and stuff. And they just call me out of the blue one day. Be like, hey, girl, I'm tired. I be like that. I'm like, yeah, girl, if I ain't doing nothing, let's go. You know, or if you call me and say some shit going down and you need to talk. And this, hey, girl, yeah, I'm free. Let's go. Like, I'm that type of person. And a lot of my friends are that way. A lot of my friends, we don't talk every day. We don't talk every week. But we know when somebody calls and they say, hey, I need you. They coming, and that's the kind of free, that's the kind of friends I think that you need because it's not a cer it's not a superficial friendship. It's one of them tried and true friendships, and so those are the ones that I cherish. But anyway, I'm gonna get off my little soapbox. Boop, jump off. <laughs> but anyway, that's one too many drinks right there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy vlog of mine that has been an emotional roller coaster, and. That was just two days in my life and how I was feeling and shit was off the chain. So if you enjoyed the vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I will see you guys hopefully on Friday. Deuces.